Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Kushanti Kasset from the Department of Radio Diagnosis, JNMC Savangi. The topic for my paper presentation is role of MDCT in maxillofacial injury. Introduction. X-rays have been used to non-invasively probe the human body since their discovery by Roentgen in 1895. For the first part of 20th century, plain film radiographs were the basis for diagnosing fractures to the maxillofacial skeleton. The application of computer processing to the principles of tomography by Godfrey Hansfeld and Alan McCormack resulted in the introduction of CT in the late 1970s to 80s. CT has become the imaging world standard for assessing injuries to all regions of the maxillofacial skeleton. 3D CT is the best imaging method for the diagnosis of leaf or type fractures and can provide valuable information on spatial relationships, especially for the design of treatment plan before operation. The aims and objectives of the study are to study the efficacy of axial coronal 3D volume rendering and multiplanar reformatted images in the detection of fracture in maxillofacial injuries, to study the number, extent and displacement of fracture, to study the prevalence and to describe and classify maxillofacial fractures. Materials and methods. The study area was Acharya Venoba Bhave Rural Hospital, Savangi. The source of data were the IPD and OPD patients. It is a prospective type of study. The duration of the study was of 6 months and the sample size was of 50. Equipment used was Siemens CT scan 32 slides. Inclusion criteria. All the patients visiting AVBRH with facial trauma that are in the need of CT, all the CT had indicated RTA cases. Exclusion criteria, patients contraindicated for CT, example pregnancy, post-operative patients in need of repeat CT, patients with facial trauma with no CT findings. These are my observations and results. On the basis of distribution of patients according to age, we can see the most commonly affected were the patient in the age group of 21 to 30 years. Then on the basis of gender, male were more commonly affected than females. On the basis of uh, mode of injury, we can see the road traffic accident was the major cause of injury. Distribution of patients according to the type of fracture. Nasal bone fractures were seen in were more commonly seen in the patients. Associated injuries with respect to the region involved, we can see hemocinus, pneumocephalus, skull-based fractures, and temporomandibular joint fractures. Hemor in hemorrhages, we can see um, extradural hemorrhage, subdural hemorrhage, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and hemorrhagic contusions. Representative cases. Case 1. A 29-year-old male patient with a history of RTA was referred for CT brain. Here we can see comminuted depressed fracture of the anterior wall of the frontal sinus bones on axial CT. On the 3D rendered images showing better description of the displacement of the frontal bone fracture, however, the posterior uh, extent could not be appreciated. In the case 2, a 22-year-old female patient with a history of RTA referred for CT brain. In the axial CT images, we can see a left condylar process fracture of the mandible. In the 3D rendered images, uh, show better appreciation of the displaced fracture fragment of the left condylar process in the infratemporal fossa. Results. The maximum number of patients, that is 18 patients, 36% was in the age group of 21 to 30 years. The age group of 0 to 10 years, that is 3 patients and 6% was the least affected. 42 patients were male and constituted the majority of the patients. The male to female ratio was 5.25 is to 1. The most common cause of injuries was road traffic accidents, that is 70%, followed by assault, 18%, and fall from height, 12%. Nasal bone fractures, 24%, were most common. The least common fractures was frontal sinus fractures, that is 2%. Discussion. The human face is an individual aesthetic identification. Loss of facial aesthetics due to facial fractures is more common today with increasing RTAs. One of the most important factors determining the success of the treatment of facial fractures is the early and correct diagnosis. 
MDCT is an imaging modality of choice to display the multiplicity of fragments, the degree of rotation and displacement, or any skull base involvement supported by the study conducted by Wong et al. and Mustafa et al. 3D reconstruction from routine CT data is useful in visualizing bone fragments from all angles and planes and also in the ready assessment of the mechanism of injury. 3D imaging is often preferred by surgeons because it stimulates a surgeon's process of visualizing fractures in operative planning and also has helped a lot in patient and family education. In this study, male predominance of facial trauma was noted consistent with the study conducted by Cor J. The most common mode of uh, injury was RTA, comprising 80% of cases. Assessment of displacement and extension of zygomatic bone fractures was found to be better in 3D rendered images compared to the axial images, consistent with findings in the standard studies. Coronal images were similar to axial images in the detection of frontal and zygomatic bone fractures. In orbit, the medial wall and the floor were the most commonly involved sites. This is consistent with studies of orbital fractures. Coronal reformatted images were better at assessing orbital fractures as proved in the study conducted by Mustafa et al. Conclusion there is dominance of male patients in the age group of 21 to 30 years. The injuries are mainly due to road traffic accidents. The most common fractured site was nasal bones. Axial CT was better in diagnosing zygomatic arch fractures. Coronal CT was better in detecting orbital floor, orbital roof, and pterygoid plate fractures. Axial and coronal CT were similar in fractures of zygoma, lateral and medial maxillary sinus walls, lateral and medial orbital walls, nasal bone, anterior and posterior frontal sinus wall fractures. 3D images were superior in detection of fractures in the maxilla, especially with the involvement of interior wall and similar to axial in posterolateral wall and inferior in case of medial wall of maxillary sinus fractures. The detection and extent of involvement assessed by 3D and axial images were similar in most patients with mandibular fractures. However, there was a definitive advantage in assessment of displacement of fracture fragments with the use of 3D images. These are my references. Thank you.